first off, if you could tell me what drew you to the project first. Uh, well, I was really, um, I was really moved by the script, and I felt that um, it was really relevant. I think I personally, in my life, know a lot of people who were dealing with a lot of the issues that Cotton touches on. Um, it's a really humane piece of work, uh, very authentic. It's about love and families and how despite the circumstances that life can throw at us, you know, we're all just trying to make it through the best way that we can sometimes with not all the support in the world and I was really, um, I was really moved by that and compelled to want to tell that story. Uh, tell me about, a little bit about your character, so who do you play? I play Rachel and she's um, the mum to Jennifer and uh, Sam and she's uh, just a normal woman, she's a working mum, single mum, um, you know, not especially unique or in any real peril or danger in her life, they're just like a normal kind of, normal, <laughs> working family and, uh, and out of nowhere she has a stroke and then a series of strokes so um, the film sort of looks at that, that's the inciting incident and then it's how these three characters try and make that work. Obviously Rachel's dealing with a physical disability, quite a severe physical disability, now that alters her life and her capacity to be a mother to these two kids but also it's how you know their family dynamic shifts alongside the usual underlying tensions yeah. of what it's like to have a five-year-old boy and a you know 15-year-old girl in the house and and the impact that their mother's disability has on them. What kind of research did you do into your role? Well, I um, Nick, uh, our director, sent me a lot of footage, so I watched an awful lot of footage. There's a piece of um, interview footage from children in need, which looked at the relationship between a young boy and his mum, who had a lot of the similar kind of physical disabilities that, that Rachel incurred from her stroke. So um, I watched a lot of that. Uh, interviews with people who'd been through some of the stuff that she'd been through and the varying degrees because obviously it manifests itself from patient to patient yeah. and also a really um, you know funny little quirk of fate but a very very dear friend of mine had not long had a stroke before this um, before this piece of work came along and uh, she was more than happy to help me find like an authentic uh, physical language and also an emotional language for, for what it feels like to have your, um, you know, the things you take for granted, your physical freedom taken away from you in such an instant, it's an instantaneous thing that changes your life forever. Uh, you mentioned Nick, the director, mm. sent you across some stuff. What's it like to be working with Nick on this project? It's been fantastic. I saw, um, I saw Northern Lights, the film that he made, and obviously Katie Quinn plays Jennifer, my daughter. Mm. And I thought his story and his film, the film that he made, and Katie's performance, along with the other performances, but obviously Katie's work in that film, um, were really strong and mature and sensitive and really interesting. So when I sat down and had a chat with Nick about coming to work with him, he's a very passionate young man. He's a huge cinephile, he, you know, his wealth of knowledge about you know, cinema and filmmaking and filmmakers and writers is really impressive. Um, and I have to say, you know, he's slightly, well, slightly younger. He's, you know, the youngest director I've ever worked with. Um, but that was also a really big draw for me. You know, he's got a very authentic kind of, um, you know, he's at the beginning of what I'm sure is going to be, you know, a, a, a great journey as a filmmaker. And you know that kind of exuberance that he's got was really infectious, and um, and I also just feel like it's a really important thing to you know the risk of sounding overly saccharine. I think it's important that's how you invest in our industry, you know, where with young filmmakers and you know and see what they can teach you. What's coming next? Yeah. Uh, so speaking of, speak, speaking of working with the young people, you're working with Max as yeah. your son. Uh, what's it like working with Max? Oh, it's fab. He's great. I think. Do you know what I love about working with kids is, um, 
you know, when you're acting sometimes and or you're on set and you're trying to figure out specific moments and you're really caught in, you know, sometimes it all gets a bit up here, you know, you're trying to figure things out and it all gets a bit... And when you're working with kids, you're constantly being reminded that they're in the moment. They're often really in the moment and that's really freeing, you know, and he's such a great kid and he's so talented. He's just got this natural kind of... He's just a very gifted little boy. So that's been really infectious to be around as well. Uh, let me check what else we are uh, So this is obviously the last day of the shoot. Yeah. We're wrapping up today. Uh, yes. <laughs> you've been on almost every day of the shoot so far. Yeah. yeah. Um, are you looking forward to the end of it or do you rather it continues? It's been a fantastic experience. It's been really creative. It's been really challenging. It's been really emotional. Um, you know, it's a, it's an independent, it's an indie shoot, so it's been all hands on deck. Crew are amazing, DOP is amazing, cast are amazing, you know, it's been a real um, pleasure and I'm very pleased that I was here for it. Um, and I, I shall miss the gang. <laughs>